Okay. We'll see where it takes us. I'm not sure. But um, here's what I'm going to do one from 2015. Two of them from 2015. And then another one from 2005. Yeah. 2005. Well, 15 was five years ago. 2005 was um, 15 years ago. Then I'm going to start going backwards a little bit here. Yeah. And because um, I always plan sort of what I'm going to play, and sometimes I would sit down at the piano before I come, and and then I a lot of times I'll change my mind. But hey, I want to try these. I want to do these. A couple of these are um, songs I, oh my gosh, I, I learned when I'm, um, I guess I'm going to put this little thing on so it doesn't blow up. When I have female singers, sometimes I'll say, hey, this is a great song, let's do this song, and this, let's do this song. My gosh, 2015. One of my favorite songs of that year, I, I listen to a lot of pop music, and then I always pick out, pick out things that I want to learn. And this one is, uh, I think, one of the best of that year. There you go. Oh, that breeze is coming. I'm going to put one more little... The other night when I played, the, the wind was turning my pages for me. <laughs> Yeah. That's a tough one. 2015. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Okay. To have the stadium, I got the sheets and the door in the family. And I can take it the four hundred degrees. I got one foot at the door and the keys. I got to leave, yeah. Shocking you. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's 
And Toby Keith, um, he was the military really liked him because he always traveled to um, to our troops and everything and would do concerts for them. So he was a favorite. The generals, everybody liked him because he's. He he was a he's a real supporter of a of a of all of our military. And this is a song I learned for Florida, mm -hmm. friends in Florida, and, uh, and it's called "I'm Not As Good As I Once Was." <laughs> I ain't as good as I once was, but once I'm as good as I ever was. <laughs> This is sort of a, this 
This is a, a one that gets a lot of radio play. Yeah. And I hear it all the time. And uh, Well, this is 2015. Then I'm going back to the 70s. And, you know, this is 2015. It's a, it's a story about a, a guy, I guess a girl grabs his hand. He, he, she says, she forces him to come out and dance with her, okay? She, she says, don't look this, just shut up and dance. <laughs> yeah, shut up and dance. Oh my gosh. And at that time, oh my gosh, this is about six years ago, that five years ago I learned this, and um, I had two female singers. I had mom, and at that time, mom was a singer with me first, and she went to Europe. Mom is, right now, mom is probably 65. The daughter, and so she was 60 each at that time. But then she went to Europe, and the, she said, well, try Gwendolyn. So I said, okay, Gwendolyn. And Gwendolyn was actually a girl that I taught, her and her sister, Mariah, I taught piano and piano to her. Mom was a great singer. She, she's an awesome singer. And she, um, it forced me to sing better and better and better just having her in the group because I had to keep up with her, so to speak. You know what I mean? And that, that's a, it's really good when you have somebody that does like when they're a good singer and better than them, you know what I mean? It forces me to improve. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, she was professional. She toured a little bit and, and stuff like that. And daughter too, and uh, daughter Gwen. So then for a couple of years, I used I used Gwen, yeah, used the daughter. Then mom felt put out. <laughs> they always got together a group with both of them. It never quite worked out. It would have been great. I almost got, I almost got a, a, a group of mom, daughter, and me, and it would have been the best group I was ever in. But anyway, that's how things go. It just never worked out. One rehearsal and bump. I don't know. It's called Shut Up and Dance. Then I'm going back in time. Oh, don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me. You're holding back, she said, shut up and dance with me. This woman in my destiny, she said, oh, shut up and dance with me. We were the victim of the night. The chemicals, physical, kryptonite. Helpless to the face in the fading light. Uh, 
1972, and at, night, at times like this, I'm drawn to stuff that has a little bit of Caribbean flavor to it. <laughs>
Songs often have pictures that bring back to your mind. And um, I remember the supper club. I remember the trio. I remember Daryl, Daryl the drummer, and Becky the, the singer. Oh, my gosh. Take a drink for me. And it's so weird. That song, and then I, I if you can. pull up this one right here. Same year, same group, same little supper club. 1976. And I've told you before, it's Abba or Abba. Or maybe it's tomato, tomato. Maybe potato, potato. Is it New Orleans or Northerns? Is it Louisiana or Louisiana? Doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, Abba or Abba. We're doing this. And, um, and then I relearned this one. I think I told you I, I think about, said, my gosh, these, these kids are probably their third year in college. When they were in eighth grade, I had a, a few of the children, guys and girls, moms and dads, would bring them to my little, something like this, and they, they perform with me. Yeah, pretty cool, yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And then I, I wonder, you know, through all this, what they're doing right now. Group made this out of it. 
breath and find Go to my head Make me forget that
just by playing with the side of your hand. <laughs> Have I told you lately that I love you? Have I told you that no one else above you? Fill my heart with gladness. Take away all my sadness. Is my trouble that what you do? For the morning sun in all its glory. Reach the day well, the pandemic. with hope and comfort. We have to keep them on when we're outside. I know they stink. I'm sorry. Nobody else. Well, so everybody has them on. Somehow you make it better. Well, one lady doesn't have them on. Is my trouble by what you do? Else has.
face up on the ring bound by one desire that fell in ring of fire I fell in to burning ring of fire I went down, down, down flames went higher and it burned, burned, burned Just can't wait to get on the road again Life I'm loving, making music with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again Thank you. Thank you. You know, it's interesting, I saw, the other night I saw the Country Music Awards. It was, it was uh, and that song was big, and they played that song. They played that song. I think when they say, "I can't wait to get on the road again," all the musicians are thinking they can't wait to be able to go out to a concert again. I mean, yeah. I'm going to do some, I don't normally do for you, and I would love to, I'm getting a little bit, I think I'm going to do a tiny bit of big band, and i got some other ones lined up before this. <laughs> Song of the Islands. I am told there was a calypso frenzy, a calypso frenzy in 1956. <laughs> Harry Belafonte. Harry Belafonte was actually born in New York, but his, uh, he was of Jamaican and Martinique descent. He was in the Navy in World War II, and he had this song. Day-o, day yeah yeah yo daylight come and me wanna go home. Yeah. I'm thinking, daylight come and me wanna go home. You know why? Because these guys have been out all night, because it's hot during the day, they've been out all night picking bananas. They're working all night on a drink of rum. <laughs> Ooh, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, your part is daylight come and me wanna go home. And you gotta sing it like with a Jamaican as a daylight come and me wanna go home. You gotta do the right accent on this stuff, okay? Yeah. Oh, come night on the drink of rum, he go. A daylight come and me wanna go home. A stack banana to the morning come. Daylight come and me wanna go home. Mr. Telly Man, Telly Me Banana The daylight come and me wanna go home Come Mr. Telly Man, count my banana Daylight come and me wanna go home Six and seven and eight and bunch Daylight come and me wanna go home a six men, seven hand, eight hand bunch. A daylight song, then we wanna go home. Bam! Oh, day yo, day yo, day yo, day yo. Daylight come, then we wanna go home. Yeah. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I think I gotta do a little bit of Frank. You know, that these songs are lined up in here, and I sort I can see them on my little screen down here. I get, I can see like the next ones that are coming, coming up. And it's hard for me to go by. Oh wait, I think I went by. But the sun makes it hard to hard to see here. Let's see. <laughs> well, maybe I'll do crazy in a couple too. Crazy. Oh no. Oh oh oh. I'm, I'm, I'm giving away what I'm doing here. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> My pages are out of order, gosh. Oh, here it is. Here's the one I'm looking for. Here's the one, here's the one. 
Everybody loves somebody sometimes. Everybody falls in love somehow. Something in you kiss just told me my sometime is now. You know, I always make the joke about how in the world I'd see my Johnny Carson, Dean Martin, you know. How could he sleep at night? Because he always had a cup of coffee in his hand. But then everybody sets me straight, and they always tell me, you know, that wasn't coffee in his hand. <laughs> it was vino. Yeah, you know that, don't you? If you're drinking wine, yeah. He slept very good at night. He had a nightcap. In fact, he had a whole bunch of nightcaps, I would say. <laughs> yeah. When the moon hits you, I... Like a big pizza pie, that's a morning. When the world seems to shine, like he's had too much wine, that's a morning. Bells will ring, tingle, tingle, ling, tingle, tingle, ling. You sing guitar, then Sing in every one. He won uh, um, an Oscar or Emmy or something in the 50s on some, in, in, in some movies. Some of those were very serious movies. I think the ones that he um, that he really won the most awards. He started slow in movies. He, he got bit parts, but then he 
he he had substantial he was the star in many many movies yeah many many but you know he didn't want to sing with just a piano because he was the big guy he didn't want just a piano <laughs> He wanted a big band, he wanted this big band. Thank you. 
standing in the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of it In a New York All these vacant bomb shoes Are longing to stray for a world tour, and I remember the, the beautiful beach and everything there, driving way out in Long Island. I thought, oh my gosh, this doesn't seem like New York should be. <laughs> it, was, it was wonderful out there. It was beautiful. Well, I had friends who say that don't you want to get out of here? And I, I, I would say, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing, I want to do a couple big band ones. This is sort of a fun one for me. George Gershwin and uh, the Paul Whiteman band. Paul Whiteman commissioned this from George Gershwin to be his theme song. Go 
sing, sing. My gosh, that, that song just lives on forever. And uh, well, yeah, I did. I know it's a great song. And um, hmm, I'm trying to. I think well, you know the two greatest singers of all time. Frank Sinatra and Elvis Presley. And Elvis Presley. So I think maybe I'll do a bit of Elvis here. A few of those. And, uh, Let's see. Here we go. The story goes that Elvis went to um, Las Vegas to see a show. And I think he saw Barbara Streisand there. And he thought. It was there wasn't enough action because she sat down and, and played guitar and you know, it was low key and he he had the feeling that Las Vegas should be high key yeah so when he went to Las Vegas he opened with this song 1970 I think was the year when he first went there. When this song would come on, all the lights would go off. And if you were out of your seat, you had a problem because you couldn't see a thing. It just went dark. right where you were at but then you saw lights on the stage flashlights and you knew they were bringing the main man in Thank you. 